Hi foodies, today we're making some really simple Easter bun. Easter bun and fried fish are two things that we always have around Easter time in Jamaica. However, we do eat bun and cheese for lunch all year round. Let's get into this simple recipe. So for this recipe guys, we're going to be doing what you call the melted fat or melting method. So we have butter in the pot and then we're going to be adding jam, brown sugar, some red label wine, and then we are going to be dissolving everything together. Okay. This is not high heat because all you're trying to do is just dissolve everything. Okay. We've added some honey here. Honey is going to add extra moisture. And we're adding some fancy molasses. You can use regular molasses if you want to. I like the flavor of the fancy molasses. It's not too strong, but the regular molasses is totally fine. Do not overcook this. Just allow the sugar and the jam to dissolve. Then I'm going to pour it into this bowl. Because the pot is so hot, you want to let it cool down faster. Because you need it to be completely cool before adding the other ingredients. While that's cooling down, we'll take a look at the dry ingredients. So we'll have flour, baking powder, of course, because you do have a yeast buns. I will post that another time. This one is a baking powder batter. OK, so if you can't find yeast or you're not comfortable using it, you can use this mixture. So the baking powder and flour, then spices. Easter bun always has spices. You can use mixed spice or the individual spices. Of course, some salt is added to balance the flavor. You want to sift these and then whisk just to make sure everything is combined and dispersed throughout the flour properly. All right. Now, once the liquid is cooled down, I go in with some stout. I'm using Guinness. You can use dragon stout if you want to. And some vanilla as well because I didn't want to cook the vanilla. And some lemon juice or lime juice, whichever you have is fine. It just helps to balance that sweet because buns tend to be very sweet. Okay, then we're going to be stirring in some uh, browning. Now, as far as browning, it depends on you. Some people like the brown very dark and some don't. So it's not a huge deal, okay? The, brown, the, the bun is supposed to be a deep brown, but the level of um, darkness depends on you. Just make sure the flavor is good, right? So stir that together and then add the egg, okay? Just one egg. Just beat that in and some lemon zest. Please make sure that that liquid is cooled before you add the egg. Then I go in with some oil. This oil is going to add to the moisture of the bun. As far as this mixture, what I like about this bun is unlike the yeast bun, you don't have to wait for the dough to proof. There's no resting period. So that's why I love this recipe, even though the yeast bun is actually really tasty as well. So make a well in the center here. And then we're going to be incorporating the liquids in here. You want to stir vigorously, cut and fold in that liquid. If you feel like it's lumping up, use a whisk. Okay, but don't over mix it. But just use a wooden spoon. And if you have a mixer, you can put it on a very low setting so that it doesn't um, over mix. Because that will make the, the uh, bun very hard. Okay, so mix all of those liquids into the flour and then we are going to be adding the fruits some people like mixed peel some people like just raisins i'm using raisins and cherries today that's all i'm adding because i don't love a lot of mixed peel okay so this is all that goes in fold it in and then Pour it into your loaf pan. You can grease and flour your pan. Or if it's super non-stick, you don't need to do that. Or you could add parchment paper. We're going to be baking this for about 50 minutes. We don't want to do a full hour because once the bun comes out of the oven, it continues to bake. So make sure your oven is preheated for at least 20 minutes. Then you put the bun in there and then we will bake it up. All right, so I'm just going to put some cherries on here just for decoration. You definitely don't have to do this. You can even cut up the cherries into smaller pieces and just sprinkle them on top. That would be fine too. Okay. 
So while this is baking, we're gonna make a simple syrup just to brush onto the bun. So water and sugar, just equal parts. If you want the simple syrup to be very, you know, thick or thicker, then just add a little more sugar. So what you're doing is just heating this over the stove and then allowing it to simmer until it starts to get a little deeper and just keep it on a low heat until it gets thicker. I do add a cinnamon stick. Of course, it's optional, okay? So just allow this to get thicker and then you can always turn off the stove. So see, it's reduced and it's looking very syrupy. Once you take the bun out of the oven, guys, I want you to brush on the simple syrup immediately while it's still hot, okay? Brush it generously because this is what we, we do to get that beautiful gloss in the end. It has like a matte finish once baked, but the simple syrup just adds so much to the appearance. You could even use heated honey if you prefer. As far as the crack on the surface, sometimes when you bake these loaf pan goods, they tend to crack at the top because the middle is setting and then the top continues to rise. It doesn't affect the taste at all. So that's perfectly fine. If it bothers you, you can try different things. You can bake it at a lower temperature for longer or you could um, try a bigger loaf pan, okay? But it doesn't affect the taste at all. This is why I like this. I just get to lift the bun out of the pan and that's it, okay? The bun will continue to cool. You can brush on more of the simple syrup if you want to. Look at that beautiful gloss. It adds so much to the bun. It's really soft, really flavorful. If you want it to be darker, you can always add a little more browning, but guys, it's super tasty. If this is your first time having Jamaican Easter bun, traditionally we have it with Jamaican processed cheese. You can try other cheeses if you like, but this is how we enjoy it. So give it a try and let me know what you think, guys. See you next time.